All right, this will be the instructions on um, what to do with the white worms that I send you, how to care for them. I first want to start with a statistic that I think says a lot about white worms. All right, um, I've kept a large fish room now for over a decade, um, and I have raised all the food that I have fed my fish, all right? And I keep a couple live foods, um, Daphnia and microworms and whatnot. But the thing that I have fed the most to my fish, and by a lot, are white worms. They are fantastic. Um, I'll get into why in uh, other videos. This is mostly, um, what to do with this uh, after I ship it to you, okay? But I just wanted to share that statistic. I think it uh, means a lot. Okay, I like to send white worms in a box like this. Um, the reason being that white worms are a little, they're a lot picky about their medium. And I don't want to scare you uh, about right and wrong medium it's not about the medium it's just that they like an organic rich medium and um, if you were to put white worms in inorganic medium for instance i could split uh i could separate an old culture push it over and put new medium in the other half and it will be months before I would see any white worms on the other side. They just, I don't know, they just prefer an organic rich medium. And um, so that's why I ship a box of medium because I've prepared this medium. Um, this is actually really a culture, all right? This, um, I've essentially cycled this uh, medium right it, it came right from one of my cultures okay so that's why I like to ship a, a brick of medium you know for just a few dollars more I can just send you uh, a lot of culture instead of just something like a little starter all right all right so you'll see here actually here's the worms I sell different variations of this. <clears throat> this would be like my my big, uh, I call it my large or deluxe, whatever. It has a bunch of worms. And obviously the medium coming from my culture, I also scoop medium that I see has a lot of eggs in it. So this is what I'm sending you. It's essentially a culture <laughs> that's that size. Make sense? I do um, draw the moisture level down a, a bit just so it doesn't leach water into the box. Okay. Um, so there you go. That's what I, I send you. So I'd like you to have a container ready. I got a shoe box here with, uh, with some holes in the, in the lid. Give them a few holes because water these cultures are very damp so water will build up on these holes if there's not enough of them or if they're too small so you know give them some holes there helps with the circulation um, I would recommend a different container so here's why I am actually going to make this into a larger culture just because it's easier to video, easier to see. So um, I grabbed some medium from a culture that I, I had just been seasoning, right? Like I said, I, I cycle these before I send them to you. So this would be medium that I've started to cycle, okay? So it, it, it may have some worms in here, but in a few eggs but I I grabbed medium where they're 
uh, where it was lacking in worms and, and uh, eggs, right? So this is mostly just medium. No, no worms or eggs. Or like I said, there may be some, but very, min very minimal. And I'm only doing this because I wanted to make a larger culture, right? Show off, I don't know. Not me show off, but have a fun little culture here. All right, and there's really nothing to this. Um, I would be a little more gentle than I'm being right now, but let me get those worms in there. There we go. Ooh, that might be a little too much. I just don't want it so high that the uh, worms may crawl out. Let me pull some of this medium out. And you know, <clears throat> I'm using this milk jug with the lid cut off. This might be a, a really good container for you to start your white worms in also. I just cut the lid off. I use these things for my Daphnia and, and whatnot. All right, I just pulled some of that fresher medium out just because it was too deep. And then, like I said, I had um, taken some of the water out of this. So the, the brick of medium I sent you only needs a cup or two of water. I got a bigger cup here for this one. So you know, white worms are nearly semi-aquatic, so moisture, water, doesn't bother them. That's probably the minimal. I'd probably add more. But that's a good minimal amount, right? I can at least squeeze. Oh, I don't know if you could see that. But you could. I can at least squeeze a, a, a nice amount of water out of there. So it's nice and moist. All right. Thought I saw a red worm in here. I have a, uh, oh yeah, that might be a red worm egg. <clears throat> Some of my cultures I have red, red worms. I use those to feed my bigger fish because um, you put a bunch of white worms into a fish tank, into an aquarium with a big fish and they'll just suck them all up because they love the taste of white worms. So I'll, I'll uh, feed red worms to my bigger fish prior to my white worms. So then all my fish get the white worms. All right, then I'm gonna put some uh, bread in here. I'm gonna poke it down a little bit. I should have put some the water on it. They like their food nice and wet. They love bread. I'll get into the feeding and medium and all, the, all of this in future videos. I just wanted to make a video here on how to treat what I send you. Again, just the brick of medium. Just throw it into a container. I recommend not adding new medium at first unless you're familiar with composting worms. And then, uh, so essentially you'd want something about half this size with the little height. Oh, there's a roly poly. You can get some little bugs in your medium, um, but like I said, we'll cover all these details later on. It was just add the medium, add some water, put some bread in there. We may not see the worms for a few days. They'll usually consume older food first, but um, where would these guys all come from? Let's get this... Uh, the, the food nice and wet and uh, over a few days they will um, gather around that as they consume everything in the medium and uh, we'll see the cute little worm piles that we're familiar with. All right.